Today I'm adding stringers to my 17 foot thistle sailboat. This is hull number 2993 that I purchased over the summer and as you can see I've done a lot of work to it so far. I refinished the uh, mahogany rails, stripped them down to bare wood, redid the grates, um, cut a brand new cross thwart, put in new hatch covers, reinforced the seats, and I've been pretty busy on it. But I discovered that the bottom was just a little bit soft. The previous owner had it stored on a trailer on a couple of big 4x8s and it deformed the, de deformed the bottom just a little bit. So I saw there were some different kits out there ranging anywhere from about 120 to 180 but I decided just to get some lightweight pine. I originally thought about doing a red oak, white oak, or a mahogany but I tried the stiffness and compared them between the both kinds of woods and the stiffness seemed pretty much the same once it was bolted in and the uh, pine was much much lighter and a lot of the kits you can buy are actually just foam strips though they are kind of expensive I think you're looking at 130 to 180 to get the foam strips in there as far as the actual weight goes these are um, three inch by half inch strips of pine that I ended up bull nosing and I'll be within the one and a half inch uh, cross section area that the class requires for uh, stringers. So with my weight I think I ended up at three pounds per um, stringer and my boat was already light by about 10 pounds. So um, once I get the uh, other knees put in I think I'll be at exact weight for uh, this boat. As far as weighing my boat goes I picked up a great scale, um, electronic scale on uh, Amazon and I have a cherry picker but I'll show those in another video. Um, as far as the stringers go as I mentioned before, I did half inch by three inch width, and then I did a full bull nose on each side, and I figured out the calculations with the um, six inch uh, biaxle glass that I purchased from uh, Jamestown's distributors. It's the fiberglass tape. I believe it's six inch. It's either six or eight, but I'm pretty sure it's six inch. Um, I'll be within the uh, one and a half inch cross section. But basically what I did on the first one was um, I created a uh, mix of the West Systems 206 hardener with the 105 resin, uh, the slow hardener, and then I used the West Systems 403 adhesive filler to thicken it up so that it fills any gaps at all that are in there. I probably did about five pumps on each one just for one stringer, and then I believe I went up to about three tablespoons of the actual uh, microfiber, stirred it up really good, put it on the bottom of the stringer, put it in place and then bolted everything down and then used a little squeegee to get out any excess that squeezed out the sides as you can see up top there. Originally I was just going to use some wood screws to screw it into the hole temporarily but discovered those weren't putting nearly enough pressure so I ended up getting some quarter inch bolts, um, full thread bolts and um, just drilled quarter inch holes into right through the, uh, the boards through the hole and then I'm just going to be sealing up the 11 holes that I drilled with some epoxy fairing compound that I actually that I used before and I got from Jamestown's uh, distributors. Really happy with the product. And then you can see here I have um, some vice grips holding one bolt in place. This was just a one man job. So I ended up um, just screwing them in, uh, getting a bit that was just slightly smaller than the bolt and then tightening them um, from the bottom. You can see here the first ones I didn't use fenders on the top. I did use fenders on the bottom and of course the bolt heads went into the pine a bit. So I'll have to take some of my um, other fairing compound and fill the holes. But the last two I did on this one obviously I put fenders on the top and of course fenders on the bottom so I won't have to worry about uh, putting in some fairing compound in the holes and then uh, on the top and then sanding them back down. And then just to give you a quick look here at the cross section basically three inch by half inch bull nosed and then I'm just using wood screws to set them in place and what I'm doing is taking them out coating epoxy on the bottom which I'll do on this one in about an hour and then bolt it down in the same fashion that I did the other one once they're completely done I'll end up running a small bead of epoxy using the West Systems thickened epoxy that already comes in the, uh, the uh, tube kind of like a cock gun and then put that on the hole and the uh, and the stringer to create a nice little curve so that when I put the tape on it's got a nice little curve to bond to instead of a uh, 
instead of a right angle edge. You could probably get a bit as well and do that with your uh, stringer, but I only had a bulldoze bit on me today with my router. And then as I mentioned before, I'll be um, coating the stringers in epoxy once I get the bolts out and have fared them. Let that dry within like three to four hours to where it's moderately sticky or I should say cured. And then I'll be putting the fiberglass tape over the top, which I'm um, we'll probably end up doing next weekend because I'll be spending tomorrow pulling these bolts out and um, filling in the, uh, the holes with a fairing compound and sanding them so they're nice and even. But progress is really good on the boat so far. Um, got the gratings done. I ended up putting in this uh, stern tank myself. This was an old enough hole that it didn't actually have a stern tank. And then um, reinforced the seats, put in some new inspection ports, and then I'm going to be redoing the uh, bow tank, making it larger, similar to what uh, Great Midwest is doing right now. So all in all, really happy with the stringers. Much, much stiffer. I could actually indent the fiberglass a little bit with my hands. And just with this part, without the fiberglass tape, it's really stiffened up the bottom. So I'm really happy with it. And um, once I get those in, I'll do another video showing the uh, finished product right before I paint it.